Think of a person who's short-tempered. In this video, we will unpack the concepts of samskara and vasana using this short-tempered person as an example. A vasana is a thinking or emotional or behavioral tendency that would attract certain life situations. In this case, the tendency to be irritated or angered quickly is his vasana. Because of this vasana, that person will attract certain life situations. These life situations could further affirm and reinforce that tendency. For example, in his own words, this could be more enemies and haters or cheaters and liars. He might also attract other life situations that make him angry or test his patience. In chemistry, you might have studied that different elements like hydrogen, oxygen, etc. come together to form a bond. Just like that, people with different vasanas form a bond that could be explosive or neutralizing or empowering in nature. Now, why is this person short-tempered? That is explained by his samskara. Samskara is a psychological subconscious imprint laid by his past karma. As explained in the previous videos on this channel, past karma here is the Sanchita karma or the generationally accumulated karma and the Prarabdha karma or the currently manifesting karma. Just like a cookie cutting mold that makes cookies of certain shapes, Samskaras are his subconscious psychological imprints that make him view and perceive the world in a certain way. Because of this, this short-tempered person may always be confrontational or defensive and he might view everyone as being ready to fight against him. Samskaras can be verbal or non-verbal. Verbal samskaras are explicit beliefs and attitudes that one can generally state in words in a way that justifies them. A short-tempered person's anger may come from a number of verbal samskaras. For instance, anger is the only way I can get people to do what I want. Anger makes me the boss. Everything needs to be smooth for me. I cannot accept any glitches. I expect perfection in everything and I cannot accept the slightest imperfection. Non-verbal samskaras are even deeper. These are not readily explained with words from the awareness of the person. They might need deeper self-inquiry or help from others to be identified and understood. Some of the non-verbal samskaras of the short-tempered person could be Anger is the only way we should react with if we have an emotional pain or stress. Anger is the only way to influence other people's behaviors. And anger is the only way to react when my ego is hurt. A person who carries these non-verbal samskaras would not be able to explain why they get angry because they are not even aware of these reasons. They carry these because of their karma. So essentially, samskaras are deep within while vasanas are how the samskaras are manifested. What other vasanas and samskaras can you think of? Let me know in the comments below. In our state of relative unawareness, the ego continues the old and generates new samskaras and vasanas that keep us bound in the karmic cycle. It is because of these that many people find it hard to stick to their new year resolutions, particularly when it comes to changing habits. Without doing the awareness work, it is difficult to change the behavioral tendencies and resolutions like I will control my anger or I will quit sugar would not be sustainable. When we use the force of will to control behavior, that depletes our spiritual and creative energy almost as much as continuing the bad habits. The sustainable and healthy way to change a behavioral response is by reflecting on our samskaras and vasanas and doing the sadhana that dissolves them.